The semi-finals of the National Futurity and National Derby were run at Wentworth Park on Saturday night and they assembled some fantastic fields for both finals this week. The Daily Kennel had three semi-final winners on the night, ensuring they are well represented in the finals. Kerrigan Bale was the first qualifier into the Futurity, winning her semi-final in 29.73. Racing, Kerrigan Bale began cleanly from the inside. Jing Jing fired out. Jing Jing's going to lead Kerrigan Bale, who wants to shift off, but she's going to hold her position. Kerrigan Bale is cruising up on the ends outside. Four away, Polly Bale. Kerrigan Bale strode to the lead from Jing Jing. Kerrigan Bale's coming clear. Kerrigan Bale by three. Springleaf made it two in the Futurity final for the Dailies when she took victory in 29.50. Bella began sweetly out wide. Springleaf came out running. Eyes Adorable got away brilliantly. Springleaf and Eyes Adorable go into the first turn together. Springleaf led by two on the corner. One danger, Webleck Bell. They turn the corner. Springleaf the leader. Webleck Bell can't get there. Springleaf is going great guns and coming clear. Springleaf by three. Fernando Bell was the fastest qualifier for the National Derby final when he won his semi-final in 29.42. Fernando Bale began cleanly. Dark Vito's going to run cover for him. Fernando Bale charged through and took the lead from Dark Vito. He led by five and extended over Electra Outlaw, followed up by Dark Vito, Country Fox. But have a look at him go. Fernando Bale opening up and coming away. Fernando Bale by six. Next Saturday night at Wentworth Park, it's the National Derby, National Futurity Finals returning to Wentworth Park and playing a major hand, of course, is Team Daly. Spring Leaf and Fernando Bale, they are two superb runners for the final. Yeah, they went super in the semis. Hopefully they can go as well on the final. Obviously, both greyhounds handle Wentworth Park well here. They've handled a variety of boxes, which is important. Yeah, they have. They, the box draw shouldn't really worry them as long as they haven't got something that's going to smash into them straight out of the boxes. They, they like the boxes here and they like the track. And obviously, strong at the finish, that's the important part. Yeah, well, yeah, actually the young dog, Fernando Valley, sort of quick, quick early and, and strong, so he's what you ask for, and just hopefully he can stay sound and keep racing. Obviously, just a greyhound like that, you've got to be so impressed with what he's done through the series. He just, well, he's only had a few starts, he just keeps improving and improving, and uh, uh, just hopefully he can improve a little bit more, but uh, you couldn't ask any more for a, from a young pup than what he's done. Obviously, it's going to be a big week for you. It's a, it's a massive achievement. I know you've got a lot of dogs, but you've still got to get them through. There's a lot of work involved, and to be two major players in these big races next week is a credit to everyone in the group. Yeah, thanks very much. In the other Derby semi-finals of the night, Topper Road for Anthony as a party won in a solid time of 29.80. Fired out, charged to the early lead from Winsome Prince. Winsome Mission, Diana Tipper back on the inside, then Spring Missile. Then Winsome Mission followed by Spring Missile. It's still Topper Road on the corner, led by four to Diana Tipper. Topper Road in the lead, they won't pick it up. Topper Road all the way by two and a half. The first semi final, the National Derby. Local hopes have struck well with Anthony as a party getting home with Topper Road. Yeah, Ronnie, he went good tonight. He showed his great early speed like he usually does. And, yeah, it's, it's got, him the, it got him in the final anyway. And, obviously, with Wentworth Park, he just seems to handle it quite well, particularly the first bend as he crosses over. Yeah, mate, yeah, he seemed to take a liking straight away to this track, you know. So, a bit of luck next week. He can draw somewhere, you know, where he... Well, I'm not really worried what box, really. As long as he doesn't get too far off the track, but... Yeah, he's get, he's get, he likes his place, so I'm pretty thrilled for Fran as well. She she bred the dog as well, and, mate, I'm just excited to be in the final again, so let's see what happens. The last semi-final of the derby was taken out by the Jason Magri-trained bad boy sniper in a time of 29.43. Racing, Bad Boy Sniper began brilliantly in the centre. Dinah Yemen showing pace and coming across Cracker Jack Byrne. Bad Boy Sniper, he's going to lead Cracker Jack Byrne. Bad Boy Sniper, he is off and gone coming to the turn. He led by five to Zipping Carter. They gap the remainder headed by Cracker Jack Byrne, but it's all the Sniper. He's going to romp in. Bad Boy Sniper by five. In the remaining Futurity semi-final, Zipping Midge for Jason Mackay ran over the top of the end to score an impressive win in a time of 29.82. Racing, Megan keeping, walked out of the boxes, Dinah Nico flew out, cut and run, took the lead with ease. Zipping Midge goes to second, they're followed up by Megan keeping the inside. Five away to Megan keeping, followed by Zipping Abbey turning the corner. Dinah Nico the leader, coming at it, Zipping Midge, Dinah Nico, Zipping Midge, grabbing it, Zipping Midge. The Mackay camp has got one through with the big effort of Zipping Midge. Uh, Marshy, obviously a uh, greyhound very strong. 
Yeah, she's a great bitch. Um, she always puts in this bitch. She, she's got good box speed most of the time. When she got into second down the back, I thought, well, she'll probably get home tonight because she does know how to hit the line. She's only very young and she's only had, what, seven or eight starts or something, but she's high quality bitch, this bitch. And obviously around Wentworth Park, she just seems to be getting a little bit better each time she goes around. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's just getting stronger all the time. Her run home tonight was good. Um, you know, the track's obviously pretty good, as you can see by Fernando Bale. It was just a faultless exhibition of galloping. 29-4 around here tonight. <laughs> not many run that. Definitely not, but anyway, Mackay's have got one through, and that's wonderful to see in the big race, and uh, best of luck next week. Yeah, that's what we aim at these big races most of the time, and everything's going good in the camp, so hopefully a bit of luck and a good box draw next week. Thank you.